Uh, today our focus is on uh, Charla Nash. And while I know you're all aware of the horrific ordeal that has led to Charla's needing our care, I'm not sure you're aware of the person Charla is. To us, she's not a woman who was mauled by the chimpanzee. To us, Charla is a courageous, strong person who inspired the team to do everything possible, using our collective expertise to restore her quality of life. It was Charla's wish that we provide her with a full face transplant and bilateral hand transplant in one operation if possible. That was our plan. I'll first talk about uh, the hand transplant, and I'll use the animation. On the left side, uh, Charla sustained amputation in the mid forearm, and we recovered a corresponding tissue from the donor that contained all the important structures and gradually reconnected uh, the bones, followed by the vessels, nerves, and muscles and ultimately skin. On the right side, Charla sustained injury that left her with thumb. And uh, to preserve the function of the thumb, we designed an operation that recovered only part of the hand of the donor and transplanted uh, at the level of the wrist uh, four digits, including the underlying bones, nerves, muscles, and tendons was really a first operation of its kind in the world uh, to attempt partial hand transplant. The hand transplants turned out to be very challenging technically, but at the end of the operation, the blood was flowing to the hands and we considered the outcome to be successful. A few days post-operatively, Charla developed pneumonia and as a result became septic. Charla's blood pressure dropped, causing the blood flow to the hands to be compromised. After several days of doing everything possible to retain the hands, it was clear that they were not thriving, so we removed the transplanted hands. It is important to note that our operation was designed not to impair any function that Charla had prior to transplantation. The function of her right thumb remains intact, and she has not lost any function. It is also important to note that we're optimistic that should Charla choose in the future, we could transplant the hands again, should a suitable donor be identified. Now I would like to discuss the face. Charla's full face transplant was very different from the others we've performed today. Because of the extent of her injuries, she required significantly more work. We had to remove first the tissues that were used for reconstruction, and then recover the full facial transplantation, including the skin, the underlying muscles, based on their vessels, as well as nerves that provide motor function and sensory, sensory function to the new face, and including the entire heart, palate, and teeth from the donor. It was really a combination of the previous operations that we have done all together. As a result of the face transplant surgery, Charla now has a palate and teeth. She will eventually be able to eat a hamburger, something she said was very important to her, having only had pureed food since her injury, and I think we can all relate to that. Charla will be able to breathe through her nose and will regain her sense of smell, something we know and we have heard from our patient Dallas Weens is extremely important to a blind person. Finally, as a result of this operation, Charla will now be able to enjoy a more normal social life and time with her friends and family. Last spring, Charla made the difficult decision not to attend her only daughter, Brianna's high school graduation because she feared her presence would take away from the day. And uh, we know it broke her heart. I think her new face will allow Charla to be present when Brianna graduates from college in a few short years. There will be a great day for Charla and for all of us. Thank you.